Hello, I'm Scott, and today we're going to be talking about different Okinawan strikes. There are different strikes in all styles. The ones I'm going to show you are traditionally the ones I've learned from my Okinawan background. Okay, there are the typical ones that everybody knows: the kicks, the punches. Okay, everybody knows how to do a punch, and if you don't, watch my other videos learn how to do a punch. If you've already learned that and you want to progress, the different uh, strikes are very simple. You have the classic judo chop, shudo, knife hand strike. Okay, it is simply you have your hand straight. Okay, you have your fingers together. The reason you have your fingers together and your thumb tucked, as I do, if you can't see it, I'm trying to show. You do this for simple reasons. When you're in fighting stance, you always have your fingers out of the way, whichever one you do. Because if you don't, and somebody, you have your fingers spread, which is what I've seen a lot of people do, they'll be fighting like this, and then somebody will go up and just grab your fingers, and now they've already got you in a finger joint lock. And if you've never had a finger joint lock, trust me, they're not pretty. And it's very easy to break your hands, break your fingers, okay? So don't have your fingers uh, spread. Have them together. So when you perform a shooto or a, like a neck chop or a karate chop, you just simply come down at an angle and you strike. Straight hand, okay? The reason we do that is at angles we do more damage, okay? As opposed to a straight chop. We have to work harder against our body than we do at an angle. Okay. Now, you also, on a shooto, you strike with this part right here. It's extremely awkward. If you've never done it and you're just starting out, it will feel weird, but I'm telling you, it is the most effective spot on the blade of your hand. Okay. So when you strike, you hit with that part, that bone right there. The reason we do that is a very hard bone and it gives you your most power for a small amount of surface space. Same way with a, a cross block, traditional cross block, you go across your body with a fist, you hit with a forearm. Same thing with the uh, knife hand strike, the shooto. You can hit with that part of the bone as you hit. So, you know, they throw a punch and you strike with that. It causes more damage to a smaller part of their arm. Now, PSI, pounds per square inch. It hurts more with doing less. And that's what we want to do. Okay. There's also uh, what we call the frogger when I was young, the noogie punch. Okay. To do this, to make your noogie and then wrap your finger across it. It will look like this. It is very difficult to do uh, quickly without practice. You have to actually sit and make it. And when you get done, your uh, middle finger will be slightly up, just like the noogie. Like if you've ever had siblings or an older brother, trust me, you've probably felt this. This is not fun. You've gotten a traditional noogie against the person with the same uh, principle on the noogie punch. You hit somebody with the point, pounds per, per square inch, a small amount of surface, and it's pretty sturdy. Okay. So when you hit someone, you hit uh, one of their pressure points or a vital area with this, it digs in kind of like a knife. Okay. The reason we do that is it's a specialty attack for in case you get a hold of their arm and you want to uh, hit one of their uh, pressure points in their arm to disable their arm, cause pain, uh, wh whatever you're, want, you're effectively doing in your fight. This is what this is for. It's about the only purpose I've seen for it because it's not as strong of a fist as the traditional fist. Okay. Now, next we're going to be talking about a straight strike with the hands. If you've seen a lot of these demonstrations with people that can break bricks with their hands and all that, that's because they train this. I've seen many videos and people in competitions where they can take a Coke can and just hold the Coke can and jab their hand through it. Coke in and all. People you have to develop this. Your bones are not made to do that unless you train them. But the purpose of this is once you get to where you can do that, because a lot of y'all out there probably thinking the same thing I did. Why in the world would you need to do that? Why would you need that? Well, there's lots of techniques, just like the noogie punch, that you can strike with the tips of your fingers. 
So instead of having to fight with your fist and having a, a blanket attack, you can strike with your whole hand. So when you come in and you strike, you hit with these fingers right here. You make a good impact. Sorry. Against the, the product or the board or the person, whatever you're striking against. You're hitting with the point. PSI, you're hitting with a small area to do more damage. That's it, guys. That's today's uh, typical strikes.